said I was going to make the Quasitium this episode, and that I am. As you can see, I already cut out a little area over here. Let's check our frame rate. Uh, 35, that's okay. Alright, so uh, let me change up a little bit of this, just to make sure we're getting good frame rate. Alright, what can we do? Fog, yeah, let's just turn fog off, details. Um... All right, there we go. We should be good. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so anyways, I completely restored my computer because I was getting horrible frame rate, but now I should be good. All right, and these things here, they grew, which is good, but I do not want to get them until I get a special tool that will allow me to harvest those. All right, so let's make our cue block. Where are my ink sacks? Don't know. Um, let me go check that. Let's see. Ink sack? Do I not have any? Oh, I know where they are. Right click. No? Hmm. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, I found the ink sack. It is right here. But we only have one, so I'm going to have to transmute some. So, why can't we run? Do I have any food? What kind of noise is that? What am I doing? I have no clue what I'm doing. What is that? Can y'all hear that noise? Oh, that's a wolf. Okay. All right, Klein Star, where are you? Maybe our Klein Star's over here. Yeah. All right. So dirt, you can go in there for now. Don't want you. We want some ink sacks. So let's go there. And uh, let's get rid of the sand. Who cares? All right. So now we have five ink sacks, and let's pull out some more sand. All right. So now we should be able to make our Ways a team. Yeah, that's got to be how you say it if you spell it like that. All right, so we need a glass bottle, which is three pieces of glass, which we do not have at the moment. Now it's gonna make me mad if I don't have any food. Hello? Nope, we don't have any food. All right, so let's see if we can request some food while we're at it. Uh, three pork chops. And we don't have any gold, but let's request three. Nope, we can't do that. I don't think I have that set up yet. That I will be doing next episode. Making it where all of our ores will automatically be smelted as we get them. As well as sorted into the proper chest. Because this crap is annoying. I do not like it. Alright, so let's see. Oh, I transmuted those, by the way. I was not spending all the time to get those. As I'm sure you guys would not want to watch. Alright, goodbye rotten flesh. Pork chops. Um, pork chops. Buy gravel. Hello, food. When I fixed the lag, it was laggy a bit at the beginning. I turned off. Uh, or I know I turned on OpenGL. I think it helped. I don't know. Something helped. All right, what can we put in there? Wool is actually worth a lot, or more than I would think. All right, let's use Klein Star Cares. Whoa, let's not burn it. All right, uh, let's just grab some gold. Who cares? Why have I said who cares like 50 times this episode? We just started. All right, so now I believe we have what it takes to build a Quasitium. Minus the glass. Just remember that. My bad. All right, so we don't have any glass, as I think I already said. Or do we? Alright, uh, we better have sand. My, oh, are you kidding me? I probably just got rid of all of it. Unless we have some here. Nope. Alright. Let's. Oh, I can get glass out of that? Sweet. Two pieces of glass. I need more than that. Uh, I'll just put in a piece of wool. It's worth 49 pieces of glass. Uh, and you, of course, you won't give me glass. Thank you. Alright, and throw those on the ground. 
Alright, so now let's make our Quasitium using a glass bottle first. Alright, so glass bot. Can I drag? No, I can't. Um, stick, you're gonna have to go. Alright, three glass bottles. Glass bottle at the top. Uh, I think it was like this. I'm gonna try something. Oh, that works. Sweet. If you scroll with the, the middle mouse button, the scroll thingy, you can take items in and out. I figured that out uh, from Dire Wolf. I was watching his Let's Play. Alright, so what's the recipe? I better have enough stone. And I do not. I need a feather as well, which hopefully I have. Feather. Alright, oh, and by the way, I did some remodeling. I'd show you how, but it'd take me forever to clean up the... Oh, God. Clean up the, um... The mess it would make. Alright, so... Keep getting sidetracked. We need that feather. Alright. Two feathers, which we don't even need to, so I don't know why I grabbed two. Um, what can we get rid of? I wish I could send things back down this direction. No, I don't want the gravel. Get rid of that. Thank you for the feather. Alright, so we have our ink sack. We have... I think we're good. Alright, so let's press C. Feather. Gold in the middle. Now, let's go ahead and take our ink sack. Our glass bottle. Are you kidding me? Okay. I'm going to see if I can do it like this. Cobble. Cobble. Cobble turn into something. Are you kidding me? I can't even do that? Oh, this is so frustrating. Okay. Electric furnace. Be happy. Come on. Can't take that long to cook up some stone. I've got to have some stone in here. Come on. Work with me. There we go. This is much, much faster. Watch I have to cook it over here again. No. Yay. Alright, so now we have everything it takes to make our Quays DM. So, where's our glass bottle? Glass bottle here. Ink sack here. Uh, gold in the middle. And then we need our feather on the left. And yay, it's taken like 27 episodes. But I finally have our Quasitium. We're going to be getting some cool Thomcrafty stuff from now on. Alright, so that will go there. And everything has to be exactly one block away. Like if I stand here, these two bookcases will not charge this up. So that's also a good thing to keep in mind while enchanting with an enchanting table. Because if you stand here... Okay, maybe not. I'm pretty sure it doesn't affect uh, if you're standing in the way. See, as you can see, this one's flowing a lot more than it was when I was standing there. But, let's see, where else can I put one? So, I might be able to put them along here. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I think I can put them along here, we're good. And let's just finish this off. I have enough. But I am going to need those for research. But hey. Let's just do that. Yay. It's gorgeous. Oh, and by the way, I found ourselves a crystal right here when I was digging all this out. So I figured I'd leave it because it's a V's crystal. Alright, so I'm going to show you how this works. And I'm going to show you with a very simple way at first um dirt so dirt is probably the lowest value item you can research obviously because it's the most common but let me grab some paper first let's grab some sugar cane uh let's just toss all this in there who cares oh crap that's a lot i didn't know sugar cane that uh, was that expensive all right so let's go like that um Alright, I guess that's fine for enough paper. I honestly don't even know the recipe for paper. But I'm going to guess. So, assuming it's something like that. Yay! Alright, not bad. Oh, no. Alright, now that that's fixed. Um, so let's go ahead and begin researching this uh, dirt here. And that's going pretty fast for some reason. Hmm. But basically, um, I'll go through this. The success rate is the amount of, uh, it's basically the rate of success, obviously, 
But the success um, that we're talking about is the possibility that you're going to get a theory, discovery, or um, what's the other one? Uh, let's just type in boots. Maybe just goes theory then discovery. I thought there was something else. But anyways, um, you just wait for that and say I put uh, bookcases in here. It'll boost up our chances from, uh, I think it was one before, and it boosted us all the way up to 17% success. And this down here is the loss rate, and that is the chance that you're going to lose the item after you have attempted to research it. And the failure rate doesn't really come into play until after you have a theory and you're working towards a discovery. Then you'll have, um, I believe, five dots over here, and um, you probably won't lose any on that. But I don't really want to waste on dirt anymore than I am. So let's go ahead and um, let's see. I don't really want to research that uh, the skull, or I guess I can. I have enough bookcases around it to achieve pretty close to maximum. That's only worth 20. Hmm. That's surprising. But anyways, as you can see, I lost that one, so um, what else can we put in here? Research value. Let's. I just heard an Enderman. Alright, let's just research some bookcases. I know I'm wasting Minecraft man. I have a feeling you're going to say something about it. But anyways, I want to go ahead and try to get a theory before this is done. So, um... You know what, I'm going to stick a stack of cobble in there and goes to sleep. And as you can see, the paper does not get wasted until you actually discover something. Which, in my opinion, is awesome. Alright, so let's just go ahead and wait through the, the day. So I'm get attacked by zombies or whatever that want to spawn in my house at night. Because that has been happening a lot recently for some reason. Um, skeletons have been just spawning in the back corner. And I'm not quite sure why. And turtles have always spawned. We still haven't gotten anything. Are you kidding me? Alright, let's split that and go back to sleep. I mean, that's just ridiculous that I haven't gotten anything. I mean, I know it's just cobblestone, but... I have other items to research, but... Oh, I should have researched those, actually. I just want to get one theory and probably a discovery before this episode's over. And next episode, I will be making our sorting slash smelting slash... It basically does everything that I would have to do as soon as I got back from, uh, say, a mining trip or spelunking in a cave or whatever. Basically, it does all that. It'll go from uh, the chest that I put it into. So, say I put it in this chest, it would travel all the way down here. Why is there a stair right there? And it would go into the macerator. Say I was talking about iron that I placed in that chest up there. It would go into the macerator here. And then it would travel over into the furnace, the two dust wood. And then it would travel over here. And it would find the chest that had iron ingots in it. Which I will obviously have to separate all this stuff for this to work. Otherwise, it would just go to whatever chest it wanted to. But it would detect what is in the pipe. And then it would detect what is in all of these chests. And it will say, hey... This chest has iron in it, which this chest doesn't actually have iron, but it will detect it, and it'll say, hey, I want iron. And so it'll send the iron coming from the furnace into this chest, which will be awesome. So basically, if I need, say, iron dust for a recipe, um, we will be able to um, just macerate my iron, which is awesome. And as you can see, I got two fragments of lost knowledge. That's what they were actually called. They were called fragments. Oh, and I placed glass there. That's not smart. Alright, so now I can show you the second step in the research process. And as you can see, two pieces of paper were used as I got two fragments of lost knowledge. Alright, so let's go ahead and research those, but our success rate is 31. So, I mean, I don't really want to waste these, so let's go ahead and try to get some bookcases. Alright, and you can see that bookcases are very expensive. Well, not really, but I have a MK2 um, uh, energy collector right there, and it takes a lot of its energy. So let's go ahead and split that stack up, and let's go. Alright, and as you can see, it boosted up to 39. 
And, uh, let's see. Come on, you can do it. 39%. So it'll probably take about six tries for us to get something. If we do. But we did not. So we lost our first two fragments. Which is not fun. But, let's see. What can I research? You know what? Let's bring out the big guns. Let's go over here. Pretty sure I have some pretty good stuff to research. For some reason, Direwolf thought that uh, Obsidian was good to research, which I'm going to check out now. Ah, it's not that great. It's only a research value of 4. Um, let's see what else. I don't know what would be worth a lot as research goes. Um, I know that these are worth a lot. These come from the wisps that fly around and will probably own your face if you attack them without armor. I've made that mistake, don't worry. Yeah, research value of 10. These are pretty... Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Yeah, that was almost pretty bad there. I did not want to... Alright, so now it's 20. That's okay, I guess. And we lost it. That is not good. Alright, so I'm going to have to think of something. Glowstone? No, I don't know. There's got to be some good research here. Ancient pottery, cracked wisp shell. I think that's the thing that's really good to research. Re oh my, research value of 20. Alright, that's good. Let's see if we can uh, transmute these. No! They would do like that, wouldn't they? Sneaky people. Success is only 33%. I don't know if I want to waste that. Let's see. Um, let's see what recipes can use that. Why can't I get a recipe for it? I guess nothing uses it. I don't know. Alright. I don't want to see the result. Oh, oh, there's yellow and green and blue. Oh, and it keeps researching. Oh, and it got lost. Alright, let's try a crystal. I'm gonna get a discovery this episode. Money back guaranteed. Come on. Alright, so let's see. Um, I'm tempted to like do an entire stack of iron, but... Alright, let's try this. And... Uh, I bet Eternalist Fuel is worth a crap load, but that's like 8,000 EMC I'd waste. Yeah, I think that's equivalent to a diamond, 8,192 AMC. Whoa, where did that come from? Uh, did that happen and I just didn't see it? That's gotta be what it was. And I got two crystalline bells, that is sweet. Yeah, seriously, did I miss that? Um, I don't know. I probably did, knowing me. But anyways, I got a theory, and let's see what else we got. So that means we skipped straight up to a theory twice, and the other one we only got a fragment. Which, that's okay. Alright, so our research value is 4, but I believe, yes, we get 5 little dots here. 1, 2, 3, 4. And the fifth one is hidden, because you have to fill these up and then go one more step to get the actual discovery. But as you can see, it's tearing through our bookcases pretty good, or bookshelves. And as you can see, we got one dot right here. And our failure rate is pretty low, 14%, and success is 66. So two out of three times, we're going to get this, but apparently we just hit the failure. Alright, so, and we hit the failure again, come on. Yay, alright. And our loss is 100%, so that means after this is completely researched, we're definitely going to lose this item, which is okay, I guess, because we're going to have the next step. And plus, I have another one, but there's really no point. And the research value is only 4, so there'd be not even a point in putting it here. But I'm hoping, after I do all this talking, that I will have something here. And we have our first discovery, which is awesome. And I'm pretty sure the crystalline bell is exactly the item I wanted. Wait, is it? The bell seems to resonate with abyss crystals. You expect it to be used to uh, retrieve individual crystals from a cluster. It cannot harvest the la- That is all- Holy crap. I am really lucky. What is this? I found an obelisk, by the way. I don't even know if that's how you spell it. 
That's probably not how you spell it. But I found one. Alright, so how do we make this? A piece of glass and a diamond. I don't like using diamonds, but... For this purpose, I'm definitely going to do it, because that is awesome. You know what, let's destroy all this stuff in here. And, um, I built one of these bags last episode. If you did not catch that episode, go ahead and watch it if you'd like. Um, this is called an alchemical bag, or an alchemy bag, one or the other. Um... All right, so let's go ahead and make what we are trying to make. Oh, we can't make it in that. So we have to go over here, and this is how you make it. All right, so this is basically our crafting table for Thomcraft. Um, nope, that's the depleted crystal spot. So all of these spots where you see the diamonds, um, it'd be hilarious if it just like glitched and stole my diamonds. Not really, but you, as you can see, I can't place a diamond here. Th that is because that's where um, the item that you create is going to come out. So any of these, it doesn't really matter what order you put them in. I think I can put it here. Yeah, I can put it there. I can put it here. I can put it just about anywhere. So I'm just going to put it like the recipe said, and I'm going to put it right here. And as you can see, this is not filling up as it was. And that is because the only thing we have left is taint. And taint is basically the bad dark magic of Thalmcraft. But it can be also used to use the most powerful items in the game. Alright, so what do we want to toss in here? You know, can I toss these in there? Oh yeah, I can. Alright, so as you can see, that didn't really give us that much of ease. Alright, so let's see what we have in here that will. Uh, let's use some gold. And as I demonstrated on accident before, don't fall in there because you will not like the result. Let's toss an entire stack of glass in there. It's still slow. Let's see what else we have. Um, do I have? I could toss this golden sword in here since it's kind of worthless. Or worthless, my bad. You know, that is very slow. Alright, goodbye sword. Come on, cook up. Hey, you can't even cook that? Oh, I bet it's because it's enchanted. Alright, diamond. Sorry. Now, I know for sure that this is going to give me enough. But let's try this first. God dang. Alright, goodbye, diamond. Sorry. Don't worry, I will not waste any... Holy crap! This thing must be very useful for it not to let me have that. That's ridiculous. Let's throw all this in there. Now, how is it that when I'm looking at the thing, I miss still? What the heck? Go in there. There's like a barrier around it for this one cactus. There we go. Alright, we're almost there. Come on. Cobble. Uh, let's see what else do we have. How is it not that not enough? Alright, let's do some emeralds. And we are filling up with taint, as you can see. Alright, and we have our crystalline bell. And as you can see, this is filling up with taint rather quickly. And if you pass this line here, I believe it begins to overflow, which is bad. Alright, so I will show you what the crystalline bell does now. Alright, so boom. Alright, so every single time I click on one of these, it will not harvest the last one. Therefore, I can just wait here. Well, not really, because it takes forever. But I can... Um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can just wait here. You could basically just go AFK and just sit there until those grow, which is probably like two hours until they grow back. And you would be able to um, to get a bunch of crystals, basically. And as you can see, I'm right-clicking. You can't really tell that, but I am. And it will not give me the last crystal. And the reason for that is, is it's basically the safety feature of the crystalline bell. And as you can see, it does get um, it does wear down. But you can always make another one, even though it is pretty expensive. But it's really worth it in the end. So you could have an entire wall of these, which is what I probably will do. I'll have like an entire wall of each kind of crystal. And that way, I will be able to just harvest and not have to worry about ever running out. So I could fill up, say, an entire back wall just like this back here, which would be pretty cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and research this. So our success chance is 39%. Let's go 
not stare at it and not make it think we're trying to... Oh, oh, we got two out of the same one. Seven League Boots. Now these, I believe, Minecraft Man had. I don't know if he uses them anymore, but... All right, let's see. So, oh, no. Seven League Boots. Here they are right here. And as you can see, I am pressing R, and it will not give me the recipe. And that is because even if I showed you the recipes, as I did with this discovery here, you couldn't simply go and do it on your own. You'd have to have the discovery first for it to work. But now I have the discovery for the Seven League Boots. Now there's also a book where you can put all of your discoveries in to store them all in one place. I believe you do keep the discovery, but it also puts them all in the book. It's called the Thaumonomicon. Let me go ahead and show you that now. Thom Nomicon. No, no, I have no clue how you spell it. Thomen. Uh, how, how, how. I have no clue where it is. Um. Oh, there it is. Thomon. Okay, that is what it is. It's Thomonomicon. I said it right, but it was wrong. I wonder if it has to be those specific discoveries. No, it doesn't because they're changing. Alright, that's good. So once I have two more discoveries, I'll be able to make that. Alright, so what was I going to make? Oh, we never checked out the discovery. So we're going to have to make the Boots of Striding, which I'm not sure we can make yet. Let's go ahead and check that out. Alright, Boots of Striding. And we actually can make them. Alright, so it requires 50 Vs. Alright, so an earth and crystal. Um, so let's make some leather boots. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. I will be ending the episode after this, because this has been a pretty long episode, I think. I'm hoping that now that I have reset my computer to factory defaults, that my computer will render this pretty quick. Because it was taking forever before, and it was just getting aggravating. Alright, so leather boots. We need leather. Duh. That's not leather. I don't even know if I keep leather anymore because there's no point. Alright, I'm pretty sure I do not have any leather. Um, yes, we have one. That is very lucky. I've gotten really lucky this episode, believe it or not. Alright, so let's just pull out some leather. Ah, who cares? Waste 4,000 EMC, get 23,000 back. Sounds like a good deal. Alright, so let's charge that up. So, now let's make some boots. Uh, I can't do it in here, so let's use our... Uh, whatever that thing's called, and make some boots, which are made... Oh, I thought there was one in the middle. Oh, uh, well, obviously there wouldn't be. Makes a lot more sense. Alright, so now let's go grab an earthen, earthen crystal. It would make more sense if it was earthen, but oh well. Alright, and we only have one of those, which is not good. Let's see if that has an EMC value, which I doubt it does, because I kind of feel that would be a lot cheating, but I would do it anyways, because that's EE for ya. Alright, so I keep wanting to walk over there for some unknown reason. As you can see, we still have some Vs in this conduit, but there's none in here, so I'd say that's probably about 15 Vs. And I have no clue why I guess that number, but I do. Alright, so what do we need to build these boots? Alright, so we need the boots of striding first, which we can actually do in the normal crafting table. And I believe I dropped my feather over in the... this room. Hello? Feather. Um... Can I take one off the arrow? No. Alright, um, crap. Alright, we might be doing this next episode. No, we have feathers, that's good. I am proud of myself for not wasting feathers. Alright, so now we can just create these boots. Let's go to here. Feather here, earthen crystal here. And where are our boots? Boots here. No. That's the recipe, isn't it? Oh, it is an infuser. I'm stupid, sorry. I didn't think it was, but I suppose it is. Alright, as you can see, or as you will see, it doesn't matter what um, arrangement you put these in. See, and we are out of Vs. That is not cool. Uh, what can we drop in there? Um, 
So let's take this out. And as you can see, I'm scrolling down. That's an awesome feat. I just about dropped my wrench. I would have been very upset. Alright, and that's slowly chugging along, but surely it is. Alright, so probably about five more seconds and we will have our boots of striding. There we go. We have our, um, I guess it's our second discovery that has been made, but it's our actual one that will affect our player. Alright, and as you can see, I have some armor, but I am running super fast. I'm not actually running. This is running here. Whoa, that is sweet. And I can jump pretty high, too. That is sweet. Alright, but let's see what the seven league boots are. So we need a vaporous crystal. One of these, and one of these. Now let's take these off before they take any damage, because I'm sure it wouldn't work after that. Alright, so now let's go ahead and make these, which, as you saw, I ran pretty fast with just that. But now I'm hoping I'll run just a little bit faster, and maybe jump a little bit higher. That would be pretty cool. Alright, so uh, let's stick all that up there and drop all this in. Alright, there we go. So, uh, once again, probably about five more seconds until we will have our boots. But while that's going, let's go ahead and put a stack of cobble if I have any. Uh, let's just put a stack of dirt in there. I have a stack of wool. I uh, must have transmuted that. There we go. Alright, so let's put that in there. Let's take out our bookcases. Because there's no point in wasting it on bookcases. Or not bookcases, but dirt. Because it probably won't end up giving me anything anyways. As you can see, we're nearing this line here. Which means it's probably about time to make some tanks. But I will do that next episode. If I have time, that is. Alright, so we're about to have our... The heck? Dang, this thing is expensive. Oh, yeah, it's more than last recipe. It's 25 more than last recipe. Alright. And once I build a certain item, I will no longer have to um, estimate these. Alright, so now I have our boots, which is the actual boots we discovered. So let's try these on. Whoa, we're going to have to go outside to test these on. Oh my. Ah. Uh. Alright, well, I'm jumping to the top of our house, but let's sleep till day real quick. Whoa. The heck? Alright, this is sweet. Alright, I'm taking a little bit of fall damage. But once I get some nano suit armor, that will not feel in. Eh, I will not feel a thing. This is sweet. Thumbcraft is awesome. Alright, so thanks guys for watching, and if you enjoy what I do, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Why did I just save a screenshot? I can never remember that's F5, and my boots look sick, look at that. Alright, thanks guys for watching, this has been PG Mining 10 if you want to see some more Thomcraft and some slimes that are over there, and a zombie, ooh, that's a good zombie, I want him. Alright, but anyways, if you want to see awesomeness, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the like button. Thanks guys, peace.